Well, hello folks, and welcome to uh, me, Captain Cat, my first log for uh, the summer of voyages of 2016. Now, um, we are here at Salt Sailing Club, and what do I do against the wall? Got two massive fenders here, and the reason the reason we're here is uh, to um, dry out and give the whole scrub because she didn't get an antifoul last year and uh, it's got, got quite a little bit of green lurgy growing on her and it's slowing her down a bit but uh, anyway uh, yeah uh, James here this morning changed the fuel filters on the uh, engine that's all good but uh, just had the first panic of the year you can say because a flipping stupid navy landing craft came up the stream here way too fast and you can imagine the wake well these fenders are fine but uh, my uh, halyard there going to the top of the mast when we were rocking about was pulling bad and uh, basically yeah it could have it could have come down and that would have been the end of uh, the mainsail until uh, we got somebody up the mast so I was very annoyed thankfully uh, there's a couple of guys up there fellow skippers who uh, saw it and even filmed it and he told me who to call not Ghostbusters. Um, this is a bit of revision for me to know in the future. I mean, if you want to call the people who control those idiots, it's Pan Pan. No, it's not Pan Pan. I'll oh, flip. It's not Pan Pan. It's Long Room if it's downstream. And I've already forgotten. Uh, I'll be back with that. Anyway, uh, when the water goes. Um, I'll be getting the scrubbing brushes uh, rocking. So, um, back in flag. It's flag. Flag control room, flag, flag. Or, if you're out in the sound, in the sea, it's long room, but uh, I know it's a uh, flag. Just note yourself, just think, what's that? That's a flag. They're the people I'll be calling a lot because they're the Muppets who cause us grief up and down the river all the time. Anyway, back to exciting beginning of voyages on the good ship Kahuna. Summer 2016. Oh. Captain Cat's log, day six. Now, firstly, I don't know why I'm talking all West Country today, so uh, let's forget all about that anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, day six, and uh, I haven't done much recording because it's been flipping dire weather and nothing really exciting to report. I mean, it's, as you said, I'm already I mean, it is uh, 20 to 8 in the morning. Uh, and basically we are now uh, heading downstream um, a motor sail we have the main sail up there uh, got a bit of a breeze so uh, not too bad um, yeah um, so continuing from uh, the other day uh, there's no damage from that stupid plonker driving that uh, landing craft at least nothing that's shown any telling yet uh, but uh, the sail's gone up so uh, that's good uh, got, got the uh, hull uh, scrubbed mainly there's billions of blue blistering barnacles and uh, I've got most of them all down the sides but right underneath the middle and on the uh, centre ke keel I, I couldn't get to that so uh, I'm sure we've got extra half a knot about 75% of it's been done and she does feel like she's slipping through the water better actually already so uh, so yeah, and then I spent two days shelving from the rain, fixed um, a new regulator on the gas uh, so I could cook stuff. I went to show a couple of times for supplies, uh, and then been bored and watched DVDs. Uh, so yeah, I am really chuffed to finally be able to uh, get, get off the morning today. And uh, I'm going to have a bit of a sail in the sound. And then goes to the Royal William, um, and Jez arrives, uh, Lieutenant Parker, in two days' time, so, um, yeah, here we are. Did not chat here this morning, and dry, uh, most importantly. So we get some sunshine uh, for uh, well, Jez brings some with him because this is the worst uh, yeah worst weather I've had aboard in the last five seasons basically so there you go fingers crossed can get it just uh, coming out to uh, navigation beacons on the way out of uh, the sand out of it. and if you can see over there I don't know if you can see them they're called the devil's teeth um, now I've been told that they were put there on purpose um, during the war to scupper submarines, but they're 
quite, look like a natural phenomenon to me, but uh, uh, I'll be quite glad to avoid them um, at all times and at all types of time. So uh, anyway, just wanted to show you them. I'm going to go out and stand and uh, stop the engine, have a bit of a sail, and then uh, get into the wall with you. Alrighty then, here we are. Kemkaz Log Day 6, we're uh, going along the outer side of the Brightwater now. Um, it's pretty uh, lumpy still from uh, the wind over the last couple of days, and uh, we're rocking side to side pretty bad. Um, but the wind had gone. Well, there's a flicker more now, it's pretty gone, so I thought I'll get the, get the main sail down now, ready to head in. And. Uh, on the big rocks, there's the main halyard got wrapped up there, look, uh, which is a pain. So I'm going to um, hopefully uh, get that off with the boat hook when we get back in. But uh, Kuna's steering at the moment. Tell you what, can't go wrong with a good auto helm. Anyway. Out on there. Come get out. Hey folks, this is Camcat's final log until I pick my crew up on Saturday. As you can see Kahuna is berthed happily at the uh, Royal William Yard. I spent all day scrubbing seagull crap off the spray hood and uh, the main side cover and the decks because they all love living on Kahuna. And she's on her mooring. And then uh, Cat 2 down there. Um, the seagulls camped on Cat 2 last night and she was covered in crap from one night. Anyway, enough talking about crap. Here we are, the Royal William. It's been a lovely day, which I've uh, definitely made the most of. I'm going to go and have some dinner with my sis. So, uh, yeah. Cabin Cat out. Hello, folks. Uh, Captain Cat's log, day eight. Um, the weather is still mainly rubbish. We are now sitting inside, but guess who's aboard? It's only Lieutenant Jess Parker. How you doing, dude? Um, this is your first time, it's your uh, fifth year in, in Cornwall aboard a boat, yeah. including Anastasia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah but yeah. your first time in my video diary, I thought it was about time I had Lieutenant Parker, so. Um, Despite the fact it's raining outside, how are you feeling about getting back aboard at the moment? It's lovely. Look, as I said, out the right race, and we've already done a bit of sailing today. Yeah, sailed so down the river, didn't we? Weather's changeable, so yeah, it's raining nice, but hopefully it'll pass yeah. quickly as it has done before. Yeah. We've had, we had a bit of sun, we've had, we've had all sorts. So, now, now it's pissing down. <laughs> nice to be back in the King William. So, nice Royal, to be back Royal William, just the Royal William. Royal William. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, tonight we're gonna, um, we're gonna, I don't like it putting my shades on. Uh, we're gonna uh, go for some food, some nice food. Not, we're having too much, we're having, we're having tipples right now, but we're not gonna have too mad a one today, because tomorrow where are we going to? The Elm. Yeah, nice sail, couple of hours. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we're hoping it'll be dry. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, uh, we'll do the next. And uh, we'll be getting a bit of wind after the mid midday as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's too much wind today. Well, there was nice wind for just the Jenny today. Uh, tomorrow we hope to be full sail, um, but it's looking like it'll be too little wind at first, so we'll see. But anyway, we're going to rock it, so it's, um, yeah, we'll, we'll do some film out at sea tomorrow, so we'll see you tomorrow, folks, um, see you later, Captain Cat, and it's over and out. Captain Cat's log, day nine. Uh, we're heading out to the Yelm, as you can hear, the engine is running. Got a Lieutenant Parker at the helm there. Um, yeah, uh, there's been barely a breeze, basically, uh, unfortunately. Yesterday we had rocking wind heading down the Tamar. Today uh, the wind that you can, might be able to hear in the microphone is mainly being created by us uh, moving forward. Uh, but we've got the main side up, just trying to grab a bit, whatever breeze there is. Uh, at least it's dry, eh, Lieutenant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're rocking a bit, there's a bit of rocking. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit, a bit, it's a bit bumpy, as was expected. But, um, yeah, enjoying being out here. Um, Going to head up into the yell and go for a walk to the pub. Hey folks, uh, 
Captain Cat here. Uh, we had a uh, incredible uh, and enjoyable journey, and uh, the sun actually came out. And we had so much fun. I forgot to do any more video diarying, but uh, we're in here now at uh, about quarter past ten on the Elm, and uh, the gas lamp is burning away. The radio's on. And Lieutenant Jess Parker is right there. We just had a uh, dinner, haven't we, dude? And um, come to my him. You're getting ready for your bunk, aren't you, mate? Aye, aye. Uh, it's been a long day, and I'm ready yeah, for my bed. Yeah. Uh, we've had we've had a, we've had a good one. This is this is officially our mad one day. Which is only get a quarter past ten, but uh, we're knocking on a bit now, aren't we? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's see if you can adjust, see if you can see out here anyway. We're on the pontoon. It's a very beautiful surrounding. Some beautiful yachts here. Let me just film up there. And uh, here we are in Newton Ferris, and um, yeah, it's beautiful. And uh, so it's uh, good night from Captain Cat and good night from good night, good. Lieutenant Chip. <clears throat> Captain Cat's log, day eleven. Well, here we are, and, and I'm, I'm American day. Here we are in Cor Sand Harbor. Harbor. And I'm harboring a fugitive, but no it's not, it's uh, Lieutenant Jess Parker. He was actually working towards his promotion to Lieutenant Commander. Still there. And he's doing quite well today. Uh, but anyway. Hello. So yeah, um, we've been in the Elm for a few days. No, for two days. And uh, we decided to come to course and so we couldn't go too far because uh, Jez has got to get back to Saltash. Uh, well, you yeah, know, we're going to get back to Saltash tomorrow. And Lieutenant Jez will be heading back home to that. You don't want to think about that yet, do you? You don't want to get to think about the rat race, race yet, do you, dude? Don't want to go back to the rat race too soon. Have you been enjoying your time aboard Kahuna? In the doubles, Jamie Murray, As ever. Uh, Brazilian Tarna Bruno. It's Fan Dabby Dozy. Fan Dabby Dozy. Jesse Cranky. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, 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 again, it's, it's, it's always good to bow back. And I just wish we could have uh, sailed a bit today. But well, we, we did on the, on the Jenny. Yeah, true, true, true. Okay, yeah, the Palava. Yeah, more Palava occurred. Um, we got out there. It was a bit bumpy and um, I, I got up on the deck and we, we wanted to get close to the wind which is best on the main side and um, it went two thirds up and jammed um, I tried four times, pulled it all the way down, back up, down, up, down, up and um, wouldn't go, would he just? Jez was keeping the boat, boat into the wind, so, and um, so that's on the Jenny, and then uh, when we had to head like, closer towards course and we, we, we had to pull the Jenny in, and um, I was thinking about getting back up and um, trying to bring the sail up again, wasn't I? But what did you say? Well, I didn't think it was worth it. I wanted to sail, but uh, I didn't want to... Uh, See Captain Catfall in the in the, sea, in the in the drink. The sea was pretty big, yeah. so uh, it was, in the end it was just wasn't worth it. Yeah. Despite the fact that I did want to sail. So we motored head on, anchored, and um, and then when we anchored, she settled straight into the wind. And I thought, okay, well, you know, I've got to start to sulk them next time I'm aboard with Josh, like on the second day. So uh, I just want to watch Jez Boogie for a minute. <laughs> I love this shit. The things you do for love, the things you do for love. Oosh! Oh yeah! <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, uh, she settled into the wind, so I thought I'll try pulling the sail up. Um, and guess what? It went straight. It went straight up to the top. No problem. I have learned. I have learned a lot about putting the anchor down straight. So that's, yeah. that's good. Yeah, because uh, we anchored up, um, had a bit of problem with your, your first yeah, attempt, yeah. but then um, she dragged the anchor and we thought we'll move somewhere a bit cl closer in, uh, more protected. And uh, you know, I did that time, didn't you? Yeah. Getting um, better. <laughs> yeah, getting there, getting there. 
And uh, yeah, well, this is where we're anchored now. And um, she hasn't moved, she's barely moved an inch. Um, so uh, I think uh, I'm going to sleep well tonight. I know Jez will. Won't you, Lieutenant Jez? Because <laughs> you always do. And I don't know if you can hear that in the background, an engine running. That's the slightly nineteen. That boat seems to have nobody aboard with the engine running. I'm sure the, the skipper must be aboard, but the, um, we've had this engine running noise ganning on since we got back. So, uh, anyway, folks. Um, the things we do for love. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, well that's it from Captain Cat for tonight, so um, peace and love. Peace and love. Oh, yeah. Not from Captain love. Lieutenant Jess Parker. Hey folks, uh, Captain Cat here. Um, we had a Boston uh, afternoon and evening in uh, Corsan last night. But uh, unfortunately I was, uh, we were both awoken by uh, the boat was absolutely rocking and rolling from our five this morning. So uh, we're a bit sleep deprived, but despite that we have, we have determined we're just going to have a sail today. So guess what, here we are. <sighs> Sails up and no engine. And we're rocking on nearly three knots, which is always we need in this little breeze. And just, you know, we're not, we're not going anywhere, we're just sailing. We just need a little bit of Parker. Yeah, having a, having a bit of a sail on the way, this is what it's all about. This is what it's about, so uh, yeah, we're just going to enjoy this for uh, a couple of hours and then uh, head back upstream with, with, the, with the tide to, to my mooring um, for the conclusion of this part of uh, this summer of nature. There you go. Um, this, is, uh, this is what it's all about, mm. as Parker said. Okay, folks, uh, cap cap. Yeah, yeah. Well, my dad's old super right films, so there's no, no sand on them. <laughs> Standardized, actually. Capture the piece. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, uh, Captain Cat's log, day 19. Uh, basically, um, I didn't do any more filming uh, after LT Jez left because the weather was pants, my mooring had been stolen, and I was racked off. But anyway, here we are in the Queen Anne's Battery Marina, and uh, here is uh, Lieutenant Commander hey. CJ Mantra. Hey. Um, how are you doing? How are you feeling about being aboard this summer and etc.? Feeling good to be aboard, of course. Missed it. Nice to be back. Fortunately, the weather isn't as uh, as good as we'd like. Had the yeah, we, we got um, just damp all day yesterday in on August the 2nd and uh, today we set up Salcombe and what happened? Yeah, so we set out but we knew uh, before we left that the, the weather was looking a bit dodge um, so we went out into Plymouth Sounds but it was already very bumpy <laughs> before we got beyond the breakwater About 7 foot outside according yeah. to reports Yeah, and uh, a strong wind um, so we I'll turn around and head back for the QAV. And here we are, and it's yeah. beautiful, and we know we made the right choice because the wind's been picking up and up, yeah. as was forecast. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're um, loving it, chilling. About to go to the barbican and uh, have a couple of bevs, ain't we, uh, yeah. Lieutenant Commander? Yeah, we are. And uh, yeah, uh, by the way, uh, CJ is training for his promotion to Commander, but uh, before he gets that promotion, I want to think he can just take his boat on his own. If needs be. Okay, back later. Uh, Captain Cat's log, um, day 20. Um, here's uh, CJ. Was oh, it day 19? What did I say? What did I say? It was yesterday, day 18. What did I say? Day 19. 19. Oh, so it's day 20, yeah? Yeah, day 20. Yeah, day 20. Um, here's uh, CJ about to go off on his uh, solo traditional uh, dinghy adventure. Um, going to be going up round uh, out to the QAB, and there's a nice bit of uh, Sort of rivery uh, ness. I don't know what the river's called, but <laughs> it's not the time off. Yeah. But um, well, didn't you uh, get, get the fuel in the engine and uh, okay. yeah, I chuck me that rope. Yeah, yeah. He's going to take the, uh, the little anchor which came from my gramps dinghy. Well, my gramps, Josh's gramps dinghy. Yeah. And uh, so he can just chuck it in and have his lunch somewhere. Is the plan, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. 
So let's watch him. Uh, he's going to get some fuel in there. He's got, he's got his uh, pack lunch. He's got a sardine tomato spread with tomatoes on it. And a classic salad, uh, fruit salad, and some crisps. Can't go wrong, can you? And, and some agua. So uh, he's getting some fuel in for Eddie. Just try and put the spout in with the hand and then chuck it. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Um, it, no, it'll be full a long time before you run out of that tank. Just uh, see if you can hear it get to the top and, <laughs> you know, if it overflows a bit, don't worry about it, kid. Not, this is uh, not the end of the world. But yeah, he's got two. Let me just, while well, he's fueling up, uh, just show you a bit around QB. QIB, where we are. Uh, here's our Kahuna babies, of course. In the sunshine. the uh, yellow pond in north, uh, nicely sheltered from the nasty winds we had yesterday here after uh, having to abort the Salcombe journey but uh, beautiful here today, the Yacht Club uh, is up here well we'll be going for some dinner later and uh, yeah, having a lovely chill today, detoxing, no booze on Captain Cat is sick of booze, I'm telling you right now, so uh, there you go uh, here's our CJ, he's got fueled up. Yeah, up. up. All fueled up and ready? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, back to you in a minute, folks. Let's get this. Hey, CJ. I think so. Well, have fun, mate. I'm, I'm envious, and uh, I think we'll be, you, uh, we'll be going again with me aboard later. Yeah, definitely. Can't wait. <laughs> so, uh, have fun. I'm, I'm going to have me sign in a nap. Okay. Uh, there he goes, folks. There's our CJ. Lieutenant, come on, to CJ. Off and away. Just yeah, all the way around to the port, basically. All around the river. See you, buddy. There he goes, folks. Angelus. I want to get in the dinghy now. <laughs> Where's he going? He's gone the wrong way. <laughs> no, he's going, he was going round. <laughs> I thought, uh, where's he going then? He's going to the, 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 the dump lugs. Bibbity bappity boo. Okay, bye bye CJ. Cam Cats Lug, day 20. Um, we were at the harbour wall, QIB, and uh, looking out to sea there. It looks um, like maybe we want to get out there. CJ? Yeah, it does. And uh, we will we'll be doing that tomorrow, won't we? So um, let's hope we get something like this and uh, we got it. So over here are uh, some ferries uh, that take people to and from the barbican. And here is the beautiful Crowns Battery Marina where we are. So, uh, check that out, folks. That's the uh, And there's lots of boats. So yeah, we're just having a nice chill day today, aren't we? Yeah, nice chill out. And dinghy trip, how was that? Dinghy trip was good, good fun. Uh, couldn't go that far, ran out of water quite quickly. <laughs> uh, but it was nice, more moored up on a uh, pontoon. Yeah. And had some lunch. How was the sold in tomatoes? Delicious. <laughs> so that's what I wanted to hear. So there you go, folks. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll see you soon.
Well, here we are, um, out in the sand. There's uh, Lieutenant Commander CJ on the helm. As you can see, folks, we've got a nice bit of sunshine and a bit of breeze today. A bit rolling. Getting yeah, sort of nice that. But, uh, nice to be doing some blooming sailing, I'll tell you that much. Play my sound for you, folks. And, uh, you're rolling about a bit, but uh, that don't matter. Have fun, Lieutenant Commander. Hi. Uh, nice to be out with the sails up, no engine. Very right. peaceful, lovely yeah. in the sun. We're well, probably only knocking on two knots at the moment. We don't care, man. That's Seagull Island. <laughs> Got a goose wing. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> we did that. It's a bit, uh, there's hardly any wind behind us, folks. So um, it's pushing us right into uh, the elm, basically. So uh, yeah. Going past here, you can see where I'm from this side. Super, which is nice. <laughs> which was nice. It's summer today. Cutting that out. Log um, day 22-ish. I'm just here aboard now with my uh, beloved family. Here's this. Hello. Here's Daddy, the Admiral. Say hello. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> and here's CJ. Hi. And uh, we, we're well. We're, we're I'd say we're motor sailing, but we're motoring with a sailor because there's absolutely no wind. I'm afraid, which is unfortunate. Because uh, looking forward to. Uh, well, I'm sure my sister and my daddy are looking forward to a, a proper sail today. Uh, but still, it's all, it's all about the good company, isn't it, sis? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's <laughs> yes, it's isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. It Thank you. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Being a yeah, being, being a float on a boat. Yeah. So, yeah, CJ at the helm as usual these days. Um, this is all good, and I'm quite happy to uh, sit and enjoy the view. So yeah, we're just going to um, head into the Royal William and um, have some lunch together. Uh, later on, CJ, CJ will be back up to Sultash. So.
Uh, well, here we are, folks. Well, there you go. That's uh, Loopy Lou's first comment. Uh, we're here in. I thought I've got to get the camera on because I can say sunny Calstock because we've got some sunshine, have you, babe? Yeah. That's an interesting branch sticking out over there for when we set off tomorrow. Uh, anyway, folks, this is uh, Calstock where we moored. There's the uh, viaduct. Uh, and here's the view. We're actually. Uh, on the mud right now, tide's uh, completely gone. Um, here's our pontoon, we've got to ourselves. Lupin's feeding the ducks down there. <laughs> I think I caught that one in mid. There's Cat 2 and Freddy, we, we, we were in early of course. There's the ferryman, but if you're watching this Jez, um, that ferry guy that we met last year, unfortunately yeah, he, he gave up, it's for sale now and he's gone. So. That's a shame. There be the Jolly Roger. Arr. And uh, yeah, it's really nice that we've got a bit of sunshine today, uh, which wasn't forecast. We're going to get wet tomorrow on the way back, and then we've got a gale when I get Loopy ashore on the dinghy on Saturday. But let's not think about that yet, eh, Loopy? No, not yet. And uh, beautiful. They're actually filming at the moment for a new drama which in Calstock. Yeah, uh, the f I think it's called Delicious, but anyway, Dawn French and Amelia Fox are in it, but we haven't seen either of them yet. I think I might have seen Amelia earlier, actually. She might have been that blonde girl that so. we saw standing there, yeah. But, uh, yeah, yesterday, the yesterday they actually came, one of the guys came down to the boat, and I was like, all right, mate, I didn't realise he was from the crew at first. I said, are we OK to stay here? He said, yeah. He said, yeah, but can you stop singing for 10 minutes? Because <laughs> we were singing, oopie doo, yeah, I want to be fun. like you. We're having a bit of a sing song. Anyway, folks, um, yeah, beautiful day today. <laughs> Hello, folks. Captain Cat here. It's um, Captain Cat's log, I think, day 42-ish. And uh, I've had uh, some more shore leave. And as you just saw, very close up, got uh, Lieutenant Bladardigan Sergeant here today. Hello. Um, we're, um, well, we've got a little bit of drizzle at the moment. It's uh, been dry for a bit, though, isn't it? We're having a bit of a tipple. Hello. Yeah, uh, he said. And there's uh, Cat 2 and Freddy. Um, what does it feel like to be aboard after two years, Sarge? It's fantastic, mate. I missed it last year. Yeah, yeah cause And it's always a pleasure to be bobbing about on the waves. I look after your bloody mummy, oh. But uh, back. Yeah, man. Back aboard this year. Back and loving yeah. it. Loving and, it. Loving um, the drizzle. <laughs> keeping me cool. We're hoping it's going to be drier tomorrow and then drier again on uh, Wednesday. Uh, it's obviously what we had before. Um, so I was about to have a sauna, yeah, and um, then we're going to go for a dinghy trip. Where's it gone? Oh, there, there. <laughs> and then, uh, and then over, over to the pub, and then dinner about nine-ish tonight. So, um, yeah, hopefully we'll get some uh, salad done tomorrow. So, um, yeah, peace and love. Hello, folks. Captain Cat's log, uh, day 43. -ish. Um, out for a motorcycle with uh, Lieutenant Sergeant today. Um, well, we were hoping for just to sail, but when, when we stopped the engine, we stopped, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> so, just nice to have a sail there and uh, helping us along a little bit. Going to head over to Core Sand. Uh, the sergeant never been there and show him uh, go ashore in the dinghy for a bit of a walk around. Maybe a cup of coffee somewhere or something. And uh, then uh, head over to the QAB and, um, yeah. Um, she the size of the barbecue, which she hasn't seen. Uh, my only concern at the moment is I just tried to put the Jenny away and it wouldn't roll up, so fingers crossed on that one. Well, folks, uh, yeah, uh, the Jenny was jammed and now uh, it's fucked. Got a rope flipping flapping up there uh, because I, mean, I had to get the Jenny down in a rush out in this somewhat rocky sea, as you can see. Um, pull the Jenny down. Didn't realise that had been tied into a knot by my sister, and it got uh, pulled up the mast. So uh, nothing that can be done about that until um, we get near it on a crane next Monday. So the end, Ross Clark, Blood Clark. It's uh, Captain Cat's log, uh, day 43, and uh, here we are in the QAB. And Sarge is up there, Lieutenant Ludorian. He's uh, getting the main sail cover on. Hello. As is uh, the normal duty of uh, whoever is first serving as first mate. As you, as you, most of you know, most of you who have served on Kahuna, 
Now, that pullover we had with the uh, Genoa Halyard, well, uh, it's sorted. Basically, um, it was flapping around and the, and, the, and the knot was coming looser that where it was hanging from. And uh, when I pulled the mine sail up, because I still wanted to sail on the way back, um, it sort of knocked against it a couple of times and, and dropped down within reach. So, what a blessing and relief. And um, we were able to untangle it by sort of whipping it around where it had wrapped itself around the back stay and the uh, topping lift. And now everything is secure and uh, excellent folding from Sarge on the uh, sail dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, he, got it, he actually got it to fit in the, in, in where the bag it's supposed to fit in, which uh, I probably uh, wouldn't have because it would have been about three times the size probably. But here we are in the flipping beautiful QAB, where, uh, which you have seen earlier in this film when I was here with Josh. Um, different place this time. Very close to the office and the showers and the and the pub. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just chilling out now. Well, size will be once it's finished. Uh, well, it's finished. There you go. All done. Well done, blue dardigan. And uh, yeah, we are going to be um, chilling out for a bit, and then going. I'm going to show size around the barbican. So, see you later, folks. Cabin cat's log. Day 49. I'm just here at uh, Devil's Point. You would pull the sun as you out. There you go. Um, just around the corner from there is the uh, in the uh, Royal William. Uh, so I just went home uh, three days ago now. Had a fab time with Lieutenant Bedard again, as expected. And uh, a couple of days batting down the battening down the hatches in storms on the morning. But uh, yeah, um, it's cleared up earlier than expected. And today uh, had a lovely day. A uh, last journey down the time off for uh, this year. Uh, got into the Royal William and um, got the main sail off. Obviously the journey was already off because we had to take it off when the road roofing jammed as you know. Um, yeah, so uh, this is the last night but one aboard. Hope, hopefully uh, the crying out and all that will go well, but I'm not going to think about that yet. I'm just going to enjoy this evening. Um, as we have blue skies. Someone's still got the sails on down there. And there's a four way over there. Uh, Edgecombe Beach. Yeah, it's been uh, challenging year at times for Cat Cat for various reasons. Uh, um, Clearly, the gloomy weather, <laughs> but it's nice now. And, uh, yeah, everything's going to plan right now, so. Right now. Okay. Well, folks, that's a lot day 50. This is the scary bit. Get in the air. You can, and you can probably imagine uh, this is somewhat nerve wracking.
queue again very slow. This last week. Destroy them. 